Shalom. Kohlaim la Yahweh. Bahashim. Yahweh Shai. Bahashim. Rakan Kadash. All praises be to the Most High, Yahweh, in the name of His Son and our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Much respect and honor to the brothers that are doing the work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and freedom to do so, pushing this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. Salutations to the hopeful elect that are scattered abroad, and double honors and respect to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Coming back at you with another lesson entitled, with great tribulation shall we enter into the kingdom of heaven. So we're seeing a pattern of events develop. And that pattern is showing that those that are not compliant are the problem. So all eyes are beginning to focus on those that are non-compliant. Those that are going against the grain. So people that are not a part of the program are being demonized. And this has been a gradual process over time. So we're seeing different agencies, different businesses begin to close the doors on those that have not gotten the juice. So it says the unvanessant are about to lose their phone, social media accounts, etc. It will be too late to organize when that happens. Apple, Samsung, and Google announced plans for features to quickly verify a user's Vanessa status. So the Bible talks about walking the straight and narrow gate. Nothing good comes easy. So when the Bible is promising the kingdom of heaven, rulership and dominion to a select few or a small sanctuary of the hopeful elect, it does not come easy. Gold is tried in the furnace of affliction. Gold is tried in the fire. And it comes out purified, made bright, and more valuable than what it was before it started the tribulation or the furnace of affliction. So this is going to come with a test. Let's go from there. Let's go to Matthew 24, verse 21. But pray ye that your flight is not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. So Joe Biden has gone on record making public statements of a dark winter. So this fall leading into this winter, is going to get rough. We may even go into a dark out or a blackout period from an electromagnetic pulse weapon where the grid goes out. Verse 21, for then shall be great tribulation such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time nor ever shall be. So this is talking about a building of escalating events towards Jacob's trouble. Great tribulation. Where they're going to push and mandate these policies. Starting with Vanessa and leading up to the Marcus. Let's read that again. Matthew 24, verse 21. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. 
So they're going to be making those that have not been juiced into walking terror threats or walking viruses. So they're going to be justified in killing those that are non-compliant in mass number. So the new nigger on the block is going to be those that don't accept the juice. The new terror threat. Let's go to Revelation 7, verse 13. And one of the elders answered, saying unto me, What are these which are arrayed in white robes, and whence came they? So the children of Israel look like all the other nations around the world because we were scattered into all nations. But the elect, the remnant, are going to be saved. Verse 14, And I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest. And he said unto me, These are they which came out of great tribulation and have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. So these are they that trust in the word of Bible prophecy, the spirit of the testimony of Yahweh Shai, which is the word of Bible prophecy. Those that trust in his word and that believe on him. Matter of fact, let's let's read this again. Then we're gonna joke, go, we're gonna jump to um Revelation 19 and 10. And I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest. And he said to me, These are they which came out of great tribulation and have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore are they before the throne of God and serve him day and night in his temple and he that sitteth on the throne shall dwell among them. So these are they that's going to inherit the kingdom of heaven. But the prerequisite or the mandate is that we must go through great tribulation. So these are they that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai, which is prophecy. Or Revelations 19, verse 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him, and he said unto me, See thou, do it not. I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship the Most High, for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. So the hopeful elect trust in the blood of the Lamb, written through the words of his mouth, the words of Bible prophecy. So he is with us through these times. He said he will be with us always, even unto the end. Let's go to Matthew 28, somewhere around verse 18. So the hopeful elect trusts on the word and the word made flesh, Yahweh Shai, the blood of the lamb. Matthew 28, verse 18. And Yahweh Shai came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me, in heaven and in earth. So we have power through the word, a Holy Spirit that gives us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, that gives us stability in these times of great peril. Verse 19, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. So we read in Revelation 7 and 14, these are those 
that have gone through great tribulation that are gathered out of peoples, multitudes, nations, and tongues. Verse 20, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. So we're in the end of the world. Esau's age or kingdom of rulership, his season to reign. So preach all nations. Why does it say in verse 19, teaching all nations? Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Let's go to Revelations 5 and 9. Let's go back to 7 and 9. Excuse me. So the Israelites are scattered into all nations. See? Verse 9. A multitude from the tribulation. The book of Revelations chapter 7, verse 9. After this I beheld, and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands, and cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our power, which sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb. So the Israelites have been scattered to all peoples, multitudes, nations and tongues so we're scattered into all nations and salvation is promised to the Israelites starting with the elect so we must go through great tribulation and Yahweh Shai the spirit of truth is with us unto the end that's why we have this word the seals have been broken Let's go to Revelations 5 and 5. A book of Revelations, chapter 5, verse 4. And I wept much because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book, neither to look thereon. And one of the elders saith unto me, Weep not. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, have prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. So Yahweh Shai is with us through the spirit of Bible prophecy. He is the root and offspring of King David of the tribe of Judah. Let's go to Acts 14 and 21. And when they had preached the gospel to that city and had taught many, they returned again to Lystra and to Iconium and to Antioch, the disciples, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith and that we must through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of the Most High. So we're seeing the seeds of that great tribulation being planted. Our faith is going to be tried and tested. So we must go through the furnace of affliction. As gold and silver is tried in the furnace. Let's see if I can find this. I think it's Isaiah 49, verse 10. Let's do it this way. Forty-eight and ten. 
the book of Isaiah, chapter 48, verse 10. Behold, I have refined thee, but not with silver. I have chosen thee in the furnace of affliction. So the elect are being refined, purified, and made whole, made perfect. Let's close out with one more. One moment. We're going to go to Second Ezra, chapter sixteen. Somewhere around verse seventy. The book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 16, verse 70. For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. They shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. So we're seeing that recipe being mustered together right now, demonizing those that are against the political establishments that are establishing or pursuing unrighteous decrees. Verse 71, they shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as the gold and the fire. And they shall be tried as the gold and the fire. Purified gold and silver made in the image of the Most High. So this is the time to gird up our mind and to make ye ready spiritually for the battle. Great tribulation, great temptation that's going to try our faith and come upon all the world. Hopefully this lesson has been edifying. All praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Rakakadash. Rock a thumb. See you on the next lesson, Lord willing. Kwame Sharala. And Abad Baba. Shalom.